This is a race using a genetic algorithm. The purple squares are more likely to mutate, and the red squares have more children. We want to see who can get to the goal here at the top right first. They, stop here, they start here at the bottom left. These blue squares are going to move and try to kill them. FYI, I work at Google, but this is a personal project. So they get started, and they have a random vector. After that, what happens is they take the bet is the one who makes it closer to the goal uh, gets to live, and everyone else dies, and that one has children. I think the purple has about eighty has about thirty children, and the red has eighty children. The purple uh, every move has somewhere between a one in ten chance of mutating, and the red has about a uh, three percent chance of mutating every move. So what so what that means is that every turn we get some we see a bunch of these red squares and purple squares that do worse than their parents, but that's okay as long as there's still at least one or two that are going along this. Uh, path that is going to get them to the goal. You see this green line is the straightest line. That's the one that has the uh, shortest distance for them to cover, but it also has the most uh, obstacles in the way. I, what I've seen before is if I have the mutation rate set too high, what will happen is uh, they'll go and they won't be able to pa pass all these obstacles and things will just start to um, bounce around here in the middle. But here the mutation rate isn't that high, so things so things are getting passed. So we see a nice clutch of red kind of making it past each time, even though, you know, a whole bunch of them kind of don't make it through the, out of the start block. You still get 20 red ones who are, keep making at least some progress each time. So this gray square represents the leader of the red, and this darker gray square represents the leader of the purple. And we can see uh, we kind of keep making progress each time. Every turn they get to add, I think, three additional moves that they can make, um, which gets them closer to the goal. And each move can mutate each time. Um, since they're both adding the same number of moves, what I typically find is the purple can get a, if the purple gets out to a lead, it can maintain that lead, but the red has enough children that if it gets out to a lead, the purple really doesn't get a chance to close the gap. So red's almost there, um, but because it's shedding so many children, if it uh, sheds too many children, then you know it only has five or six here at the far right. So it's going to be able to make it's going to its progress is going to slow down, but it's close enough. It's going to make it. I think it's going to make it next turn. Yeah, and here red made it all the way to the end. Purple's a little bit still a little bit left to go. It took red two hundred and nine moves to make it. Um, purple will probably make it in the next couple of turns, but as we, um, as we saw the, uh, you know, purple has a lot fewer children here, even though some of them, but a lot of these children aren't mutating that much. So it's probably going to keep pushing the more, the more they mutate, it's going to, the more they mutate, the more it explores the space. And exploring the space is good, but it's not really good to, for them to keep exploring this space back here at the far left. So yeah, purple made it, red made it. Uh, well, so it took red, I don't know, something like 50 moves to make it. It took purple uh, 60 moves to make it. Anyway, thanks for watching.